do you know what time it is? I'm looking here on this watch, and I think it's time for the Ask ML Fit Show. Hey, I'm Matt from Matt Lane Fitness. If you're new here, it means so friggin' much that you'd give me a little bit of your time. I'm going to give you back value. I hope that you'll drop your questions down below because that's exactly what this is. You ask your fitness questions and I answer them. I've been pulling from Reddit and I'm going to dive into a few today. I'm excited about them because we're talking about keto. We're talking about alternatives to my fitness pal and never thought I'd hear myself say it. Muscle gain and protein and I can't wait to get into it. So... Let's do exactly that, shall we? The first one, here we go. This is from a subreddit called Keto. I have my opinions on Keto. I have used Keto in the past. I use it every now and then for certain things. I don't think that it's necessarily needed for a mass majority of people. I don't think it's sustainable for a lot of people, but I digress. Here we go. When did you notice de-bloating on Keto? slash face getting leaner. I'm 19, I'm a 19 year old male, five foot 11 at 165 pounds on day three of keto, feeling pretty horrible, dizzy and extremely tired, fatigued and bloated still. That sounds like keto. That sounds awful. Almost fainted after I t took a hot bath. LOL, this person says. Seems like have not lost any water weight yet. Also skin is a lot drier than normal, looking puffier than normal. All right, you are dehydrated, good sir. If you're about to pass out, and if you're around heat, and you're knocking on the door passing, I mean, and then your skin is drier, I mean, you are dehydrated. Take in, take in some friggin' water, good sir. The reason you haven't lost any water is because your body is trying to hold on to as much water so it doesn't, so you don't die. Holy crap, the reason you may feel uh, horrible is because the keto flu kicks in. And the keto flu is ultimately when you have peed out your electrolytes. So sodium, potassium, magnesium, phosphorus, all those, you don't have enough of that, okay? Wanted to do keto as I noticed I always felt like crap and my face started getting puffy after I ate a lot of carbs. Well, why don't we meet in the middle here instead of just eating a whole lot and then not eating them at all. Right now I feel like keto is not working at all. It sounds awful. How long will it take until I notice the benefits of a low carb diet? Because I am feeling, <laughs> I guess I'm really feeling like death at the moment on day three. I have empathy for you. I eat four eggs and one whole package of bacon for breakfast daily. And then a lot of chicken, meat with salad, tomatoes, cucumbers, and cheese basically. A lot of salt now daily as I heard you will need that. So it's good that you're taking in salt. Here's the thing. I'm not against bacon. I'm not against meat. I, I like, I eat all those things myself, but the thing with keto is it, it's just not a sustainable thing. And this person's 19 year old, 19 years old. They're obviously asking the questions here. They're looking for the information, but you are going to get leaner in your face and your whole body when you have been in a calorie deficit long enough. And the one thing that baffles me is that it's not talked about and people don't realize it, but keto works for some people. Yes. And yes, it works because you cut carbs. But the reason that cutting carbs causes fat loss is because you're cutting calories at the end of the day. You are in a calorie deficit hopefully when you're on keto and yes you may lose some water weight and all that but it's because you've cut calories it's not that you've cut carbs if you do nothing but eat bacon the whole time and if you eat too much bacon you are going to gain weight you're going and, and i have my thoughts about keto there is a time and a place for it and for some people it works but for a lot of people it's not sustainable and ultimately for you good sir you need some water I do feel you need some carbs, but I know you're gonna not going to eat them. Get some electrolytes in, and for the love of God, get some water in. Holy crap, you're going to lose that fat once you've been in a calorie deficit long enough. Jesus. Oh, what a question. Here we go. Alternatives to the app. Alternatives to apps like MyFitnessPal. I never thought I would see the day where I would be telling people to not do my fitness, my fitness pal. but in October, they launched the 
the, my, the barcode scanning option as a paid option, which my fitness pal, I cannot believe you did that. I hope lose it crushes you guys because what a terrible idea it was. Hi everyone. I saw on here about a month ago, uh, a post with alternative apps like my fitness pal. I've been an avid fan of the app, but due to their new paywall, I've been inclined to use it less. I totally get it. If you guys could give me any suggestions, that would be greatly appreciated. So the app that I am moving from is my fitness pal. The app that I am moving to is my primary, my primary one that I'll be using personally. And at the time of this recording, I don't have it made, but I am going to make a tutorial video for this app because I already have a tutorial video for my fitness pal, but the one I'm moving to, the one I crown as the king is Lose It. And Lose It, I ran through it and it looks fantastic. I did the whole setup process and I think that, I think that Lose It is superior. I really do. It, their, their setup process was quite extensive, but I appreciated it because it asked about your environment. It asked about your habits. It asked what you've done in the past. It asked a lot of the questions that I asked as a trainer to onboarding clients. There's also the option to, to track your weekly calories or basically make a flexible calorie goal uh, on the weekends. I really like the options they give. They also give the barcode scanning option for free. Uh, all the normal pieces of MyFitnessPal that you have, it looks like Lose It has it and it's a free app. There is a premium version that you can pay, which is very inexpensive. It's a dollar and some change a month uh, or 20 bucks per year. It doesn't seem that the premium version is necessarily worth it. You can get away with the free version. I Again, I cannot believe that I am saying I'm moving to lose it, but lose it seems like a fantastic alternative and point blank, I think it's superior. Lastly, muscle gain and protein. I'm trying to gain muscle. That is extremely relatable. I'm a 26, 110 pound female and I'm having a hard time gaining weight like I always have. Interestingly enough, I've always been a hard gainer. Um, I can get lean really easily. Trying to get my protein intake to 100 grams has been a challenge. Understood. Any tips? Any other tips are greatly appreciated. I'm not a, not a complete beginner to working out, but strength training slash bodybuilding, I'm still working at. Understood. So this is near and dear to my heart. And <clears throat> so, you know, let's make this um, make this evident. A calorie deficit will cause fat loss. A calorie surplus will cause fat gain or weight gain or weight loss. So when it comes to the protein intake, I highly, highly suggest to you that you try to drink your calories. I always suggest to people that are trying to drop fat, you know, pay attention to what you're drinking because liquid calories are so much easier to overeat or overconsume. So for us that struggle with getting in calories, I go the exact opposite direction and say, use those liquid calories as the hack. So I think that food is always superior to supplements. So if you did not want to do a protein powder, if you wanted to do something that was more whole, what I do is a pasteurized egg white at times and smoothies and stuff like that. It's just a great way to sneak in some extra protein. And I would really be leaning towards snacks that are protein heavy. So beef jerky has always been one of my, my go-tos. It is pricey, so I understand that. So then what I would do is I would lean on liquid egg whites again and basically just have liquid egg whites because it is inexpensive just as more regular meals. That's what I do if I'm in a financial pinch ever and want to get more protein in. But uh, I would really, really, really lean on liquid calories because also when you take food and then you take liquid, which one digests quicker? Do you think which one has to have more mastication? Why am I drawing? Why am I drawing a blank on mastication? Right, mastication. You chewing. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know when you drink something, it's going to process much quicker in your stomach, and you can uh, ultimately get those calories in quicker. I hope that helps. If you're looking for fitness plans based in science and behavior change, it's exactly what I do. If you look down below, you're going to find them to the Mental Fit Mafia, to the patrons. Thank you so much for always being here. For you, if you're new or if you're returning, I appreciate you. I hope that you'll drop your questions down below in the comments because I'd love to read them. I'd love to respond. I'd love to give you value. You don't have to be perfect at this fitness thing. Just be better than yesterday. Every friggin' day.